I mean, that started a bit before my time, so I don't know the exact details, but he uh, started at Giant Cars, and I think it, 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 I think it must have been about 1925-ish. My dad's two partners worked with him at Jowitz, and they got together uh, at the end of the war, when people were being demobbed. They thought they could see an opportunity in starting on their own and bought some premises on Sticker Lane for £2,000. And Willie Jowett offered them to lend them this £2,000. So I went there as an apprentice and uh, got cracking. Not with the spanners, but with the brush to start with and washing up, making tea for the rest of the mechanics, going for the newspapers, fetching the fish and chips at dinner time. I was just a dog's body for everybody. But I was, I've got to say it myself, I was really good as an apprentice motor mechanic. And before very long, there weren't many jobs that I really couldn't do. So then I went in the army to do my national service when I was 18. And you didn't need to be a good speller in the army, so I did well in that as well. I was ready for demob from the army. And uh, I was in bed in my bunk one night in my workshop at Catrick. I thought, what am I going to do? The army wants me to stop, stay on with them and they promised me a commission. And I know my mum wouldn't like that. And they had to come out and they had an interview with me and said, anywhere we can talk you in to staying in the army. I said, I don't think so, because I've, I've, I made a promise to my mother that I'd come out and, and go to the family business. Came out Friday, fully Monday, into Tordoff Motors with me uh, few new tools, which I didn't need quite straight away, on a new brush. <laughs> I spoke to my mother about it, I said, my mother, we're getting nowhere, this, this garage is going absolutely nowhere. And it has to be like other people now who have gone into buying and selling used cars and selling new cars. I think I need a thousand pounds so I can get started. So she said, yeah, if you want to borrow it, I'll give you it. And I gave it back, plus a black and white television as interest, as a thank you. Which she didn't expect, but she hadn't got a television, so I bought this television and had it fitted for her and gave her it back. And gave her the money back as well. So how happy, and she was delighted. And she was delighted to see that, you know, what, what was a really run down, awful little garage. We're taking off into a, a quite nice business. Well, we, we've run out of space on Sticker Lane from our original starting, just opposite us for a piece of spare land. So I got in touch with a, a, a customer, uh, God Nolan, who was an architect, and I brought him down to look at it. And I said, look, if you can, I'd like to build a churum on there. And I'd like to build a flat on top, because I can't afford to buy a house, have a churum and a flat. So if I put flat on top. Well, my JCT 600 journey began on the 2nd of October, 1963 when I was actually born in the flat above the showroom on Sticker Lane. I've got lots of great memories, happy childhood memories of living on Sticker Lane. Um, for those people who work on Sticker Lane now, it's fair to say it was a vastly different uh, community then than it is today. I used to like having what we called guider carts, which was really just a piece of wood with four bike wheels. And you could get that going down Sticker Lane turn into Buller Street and try your best to get it as sideways as possible, just like my dad used to do in the rally cars. I'd spent money in the garage because to make it look, look a presentable place. Uh, and people used to pass comment on how nice and it looked and, and when the cars there and they were all spotless. It was a culture that I was just starting then, which we have now. A big thing for Jack um, was cleanliness and tidiness and I know that is still the case today for John 
and the other directors. Jack hated the accountant's desks where voluminous paperwork was all over the shop and often it, we'd be talking in my office and as we're talking Jack is straightening all my papers to make, to make the nice neat piles. I'm really proud that 2016 is the 70th, 70th anniversary of JCT 600. It's an incredible achievement uh, and it's a wonderful mile, milestone. Um, but it's not just an anniversary for the family, it's an anniversary for everybody who works in JCT 600, for everybody who has worked in JCT 600, for my dad, for my mum, for my brother, uh, for Harry and Brian and for everybody who's contributed to the success of this business over the last 70 years. And he, he wouldn't have expected me to apply for the job because I said right from the start, I can't work for you, I can never work for you. The way that you, well, the way that you run the business, God, no way would I ever work for you. And I think we did 10 years, yeah, 10 13, years, together. 13 yeah. years, working not only together but in the office next to each other. He obviously showed an interest with work experience through school which was arranged. I have desperately tried to <laughs> tell him to stay clear of the motor trade but despite all my efforts it, uh, it never paid off and he, he ignored me and joined the motor trade. And I think the Mercedes-Benz Academy is a fantastic opportunity for anybody who wants to go through an apprenticeship so uh, really really proud of him. I met my husband at work um, about 22 years ago. Um, he works at JCT Wakefield. You sent a secret Valentine's card, didn't you, Jules? I did, yeah. There she is, 22 <laughs> years later. Yeah. Fantastic. You did the reading at my wedding and she cried all the way through it, um, which was really emotional because I really wanted her to do it. So I've been at JCT roughly five years um, when we had a new girl start and um, not long after we got talking and uh, almost a couple of years on now, we've got a, a beautiful little baby boy who was keeping us busy all the time. So uh, she's on maternity leave still at the moment, so soon she'll be back at work with me as well. If I was to sum up uh, my thoughts and observations about why the company has been so successful. The values of the business, the things that made us great to begin with, they are all in the back of our minds with, with, with everything that we do today. We had customers in mind with everything we did. So the whole team at JCT was designed round looking after customers. And we're a good team, a very, very good team, all of us. We all work together well. It's a very hard working company. This starts from the owners and the directors, senior managers and permeates all the way down. Congratulations JCT 600 on your 70th anniversary. Congratulations Jack, John, Ian and to the whole Tordoff family on 70 years. And to the wider JCT family. 70 years in the motor trade is an absolutely outstanding achievement. And thank you for JCT 600 for giving me the opportunity. It's a local Yorkshire company. I'm a Yorkshire lad. It's a privilege to have got to know your story so far. Have a fantastic evening celebrating tonight. There's not a day that goes past uh, where I'm not enjoying coming to work and looking forward to the next 70 years. JCT 600 is about a lot of people and Jack told us just an early part of it. I've got to thank all the people. Them who's, who's left us now have gone and moved on to different things for their help and contribution to making JCT 600 the company that it is today. Congratulations to all the JCT 600 family. Let's make 2016 the best yet.